Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I'm going to show you how to solve uh, Hardy-Weinberg problems with three alleles. And here's a problem. In a capital city the allele frequencies of human ABO blood types are as follows. Uh, allele A 0 0.2, allele B 0 0.3, allele O is 0 0.5. This is frequencies and combined these frequencies make one or one hundred percent. What is the frequency of the blood group A within capital cities population? And you might try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. I'm not going to use shortcuts and show you the short way how to solve this problem because I want you uh, deeply understand how to solve such problems. So I will show you uh, first simple example with two alleles and then we will go uh, and solve this problem with three alleles. So imagine that we have uh, just two alleles. So this is going to be a simple version. Uh, let's say allele P and Q. So if we have uh, only two alleles, these two alleles would make 100% of all alleles for this particular locus uh, for a population. And because we humans are deployed, so we should put power of two here. If you would solve this problem for, say, um, some plant that is going to be triploid, we will put three here. If a plant would be tetraploid, we will put four here for tetraploid plant. So, how we are going to expand this formula? This is very simple. In Russia, such type of problems in algebra is solved in the sixth grade. So, we are going to have P plus Q multiplied by the same. So P plus Q. So this basically and this is the same. So P plus Q in the power of 2 means that we have to multiply what we see here in parentheses by itself. And this would equal to and first what we have to do, we have to multiply this P and this P. So this would equal to p squared. Then we have to multiply this p and this q. So plus p q. Then we have to multiply this q and this p. And we are going to have p q. And then we have to multiply this q and this q. And we are going to get Q squared. Now, as you see, we have the same uh, the same numbers here. So we can just uh, basically group them the same uh, and in another step, we are going to get P squared plus 2 P Q plus Q squared and all this would equal to 1. So basically this is Hardy-Weinberg formula. P squared stands for example if you get used to dominant and recessive allele then we can say that P stands for the dominant allele and Q stands for the recessive allele. So here we would get homozygous dominant genotype frequency and here is the heterozygous genotype frequency and Q squared stands for the homozygous recessive genotype. So now you understand how to solve for two alleles. Now let's solve for three alleles. Again, uh, in the ABO blood group system we have uh, allele A, allele B and allele O. And both allele A and B are dominant over the allele O. 
and both of them are co-dominant. And the three alleles would make four phenotypes. The first would be blood group A, second would be blood group B, third would be blood group A, B, and the last would be blood group O. And if we uh, try to combine the three alleles, actually we are going to get six different combinations, but we only have four uh, blood groups and here's why because uh, allele O is recessive and combination of uh, two uh, alleles A of course would make blood group A but combination of the allele A and O also would make blood group A and blood group B is made by two genotypes BB and BO again because allele O is recessive and blood group AB would be made by only one genotype AB and blood group O also would be made by only one genotype OO so we have four blood groups but we have six genotypes and again all these six genotypes are made by three alleles. Now let's repeat what we did for two alleles but this time we have three alleles. Frequency of six genotypes would equal two. So F stand here for the frequency and we have three alleles. Allele A plus allele B plus allele O. In our gene pool and humans we are deployed so in a power of two and let me now use shortcut I'm not going to show you uh, expansion of this uh, parenthesis uh, I show you before with two alleles so so what we are going to get here uh, we are going to get a squared plus b squared plus O squared, this is three genotypes, homozygous genotypes, plus 2AB plus 2AO uh, and plus 2BO. So now we have list all the genotypes, but we only interested in genotype that is AA and AO which make blood group blood group A so A squared and 2AO because our question let me return what is the frequency of the A blood within capital city population so we are looking for the frequency of the blood group A so blood group A frequency of this blood group would equal to A squared plus 2 A O. Now let's also check frequencies of the alleles which is given in the problem. So frequency of the allele A is 0 0.2 and frequency of the allele O is 0 0.5. Now let's put numbers here. So 0 0.2 squared plus 2 multiplied by 0 0.2 and multiplied by 0 0.5. So here we are going to get 0 0.04 plus uh, 0 0.2 and the answer going to be uh, 0 0.24 or 
if we need an answer in percentage form, we have to multiply this answer by 100 and we can say that frequency of the blood type A in this population would be 24%. And this is going to be our answer today. The only one more comment that I want to make is uh, usually you can see in this blood um, type problems uh, I for every blood group. Basically I recommend you just ignore this uh, letter so we can cross out it and just refer to each allele, just allele A, B and O. Because this I doesn't uh, like uh, give us any additional meaning. I would explain why uh, in textbook we have IA, IB and allele IO, but this is going to take a time and I know that you right now preparing for your exam and probably don't have uh, time waste because this is uh, not uh, like important information for solution of this problem. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.